Okie dokie. In this problem, they give us an equation for m, and they're asking us which of these statements must be true based on what we can see in this equation. So keep in mind what we've already learned. When something is inversely proportional, that means whatever they're describing should be in the denominator of the expression. Whenever something is proportional to something else, this something should be in the numerator of whatever we're looking at. So that's kind of the shortcut way to think about it. So m is inversely proportional to the square root of b. Inversely proportional to the square root of b. That means that the square root of b should be in the denominator somewhere, but I do not see it in the denominator. We do not see it in the denominator. We do see it in the numerator. So it does mean that it is proportional to m. Uh, or m is proportional to the square root of b, but not inversely proportional. So this statement is false. Number two, m is proportional to the square root of b. Oh, uh, look, yeah, that, that's what we just said. So that is a true statement because the square root of b is in the numerator. Number three, m is inversely proportional to the product of l and w. That means l and w should be in the denominator here but they are not. They are in the numerator, which means that m is proportional to that product, but not inversely proportional. So it looks like just two is correct. Break out the eraser, and we see that c is our answer.